Hey guys, it's Abdul, your favorite political radio talk show host and the editor and publisher of IndiePolitics.org. I'm coming to you today from uh, Springfield, Illinois. I'm in Illinois uh, for the past few days. Had to play lawyer and have been working on uh, some things. I'll be back in Indianapolis tomorrow. Um, but there are a couple things that popped up on my radar screen, which I thought uh, were worth keeping a quick mention. Because even though I am a couple hundred miles away, I still make it a point uh, to pay attention to what's going on in Indiana government and politics. And the big thing right now, just pull up on my computer screen here, uh, just happens to be the fact that the Indiana Attorney General, uh, Curtis Hill, has filed a motion with the federal court uh, to stop Marion County uh, from engaging in its early voting sites. According to our friends uh, over at the IBJ, the, there was a consent decree that was filed, for those of you who may not know, uh, where the American Election Board, they worked out those voting sites in order to comply uh, with a federal judge's order. Uh, well, the folks over at the Attorney General's office have filed a motion asking the judge to throw that out. Uh, there was a question about whether the board actually did it uh, unanimously. Now, there have been a couple of responses on this, which I think are interesting. Uh, first of all, uh, the American County Election Board, uh, according to our friends at the IBJ, described the allegation by the Attorney General's office as, quote, factually incorrect, saying it was a unanimous decision. Uh, and they also put up a link to that public meeting that they had on July 25th uh, when they actually did it. Uh, an even bigger concern, though, uh, was a news release that was put out, pull this up here, kind of doing this on the fly a little bit, by Indiana Secretary of State um, Connie Lawson. She issued a statement that was very strong language uh, for uh, the Secretary of State. I'll go ahead and read this for you. Uh, she goes to say, and totally uh, disputes what the Attorney General is doing, she says, as Indiana's Chief Election Officer, uh, I oppose Attorney General Hill's intervention in the Marion County Satellite Voting Case. I did not ask him to do this. He did not have the professional courtesy uh, to provide me notice of the motion, even though I'm named in the party uh, in the lawsuit. Uh, the Secretary goes on to say, I support the county's, Marion County's unanimous decision to adopt satellite voting, and I urge Attorney General Hill to drop this. Satellite voting is a bipartisan effort, and the Attorney General's filing does not reflect the will of Marion County voters. Uh, it goes on to say, by his reckless action, uh, the Attorney General has disrupted more than 18 months of productive uh, bipartisan conversations. Now, this comes from the Attorney General Kind of, um, I'm sorry, Secretary of State Connie Lawson, uh, shortly after she came under uh, some fire by the folks up in Lake County uh, with respect to some precinct consolidation, a plan that they had uh, to turn in. So I thought this was a little bit of an uh, interesting tidbit uh, as I decided to go ahead and check in with you folks today and just kind of let you know uh, what I've been following. Uh, other interesting bit of news is out of Politico. Uh, U.S. Senator Joe Donnelly, as you folks know, who is up for re-election, uh, has apparently said that he does not have an issue providing the president with more funding uh, for his border wall if that's what it takes to oppose the government shutdown. Uh, Donnelly's saying that basically up to $5 billion he was willing, worth and willing to spend uh, if that's what it takes to keep the president uh, from shutting down, from possibly shutting down the government. So that's another little bit of information I also thought was interesting. So those are just a couple of things um, that I thought it was worth sort of, uh, I like to say this is a vacation, but it's really not a vacation. It's more... Uh, working and dealing with jury trials and suing people who decide to settle at the last minute when they realize they're going to lose, uh, and just kind of fill you in on what's been going on uh, with Indiana government and politics. Uh, two quick things. Uh, both these stories will be in tomorrow morning's uh, Indy Politics statewide summary. So if you don't get that, uh, you really should uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, it's totally free and does not cost you a thing. Just go to IndyPolitics.org. And also, uh, just put out about 10 minutes ago, uh, it was the cheat sheet. Um, the political newsletter that I write. Uh, we've got some interesting information in there. Speaking of Joe Donnelly and Curtis Hill, how the Attorney General's controversy might be impacting the U.S. Senate race. Uh, and there is some new polling information out of the Mike Dell J.D. Ford Senate race that has a lot of people worried and concerned. So we've got a couple stories in there, too. Also, a list of candidates as to who may be running for mayor. And if you're the mayor of Muncie, Indiana, Dennis Tyler, you might not run a one, might not want to run for re-election after what just happened uh, in the primary. So just some of the things in the cheat sheet. Uh, if you're a subscriber, should be in your mailbox already. If not, go to indiepolitics.org, click on my cheesy face with a cigar and the martini in the Capitol Dome, and become a subscriber. And that's all we got right now. Uh, we'll be back in Indianapolis tomorrow. Uh, not back on the air this weekend because I wasn't sure. I was going to be back in town, so I think Rob Kendall was filling in for me. But I'll definitely be back uh, next weekend, providing you guys with more updates 
uh, as necessary. So you guys take care. Have yourselves a good afternoon, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.